All right. Well, you know, right now, as all you guys know that are my regular subscribers and followers, that um, right now I'm kind of in a slow period, uh, working on some things around the uh, diorama, um, getting things completed so I can start doing a new section. And uh, I'm hoping to get to that as soon as I can get the wood and uh, start building the tables and such. Get real close. Um, I got a few signs to repair, but and I still got to do the interior and the signage for the uh, record shop yet. But um, that's that's all I'm working on right now. Um, but I decided I, I have had this kit for a year, and uh, I've been meaning to build it. And it's been just sitting on the shelf. Uh, it's from uh, it's the uh, Englehood Englewood uh, mobile home. Uh, it's made in 164 scale, F scale. They also make it, I believe, in HO and O scale, I think. Uh, it's from Interac Interaction Hobbies, uh, Rail and Tie Craftsman Kits. Uh, Interactionhobbies.com. Um, I've built several uh, kits from these guys already. Um, the cigarette machines that I have that light up, those are uh, Craftsman uh, kits from Rail and Tie. And uh, they're excellent kits. Um, I've been very impressed with this company. Everything that I've bought from them has just been awesome. Uh, the pallets are, are realistic. I bought the pallet kit. I bought the phone booth kit, which I'm still going to build yet. Um, I got this here, um, the, the soda machines that, that, I, that I made light up. Uh, you can also make them so they don't light up if you don't have a... a a powered uh, diorama that you're going to put them on. Uh, I've I like this company. I really do. Uh, I can't say a enough good about these guys. I've talked with them several times. Um, they're uh, looking to add more to the, the uh, 164 scale, uh, the S scale offerings that they have. Um, very interested in it. Um, but they do need some encouragement. And uh, so any of you guys that are interested in building dioramas that are working on your own dioramas check this company out and see what they got they have some really neat stuff um the uh they even have a meth lab <laughs> which i am going to get one uh they also have a moonshiner still uh with a still and everything and a little uh um shed to put it in so um let's take a look and see what i built out of this uh i started working on it it's uh it was uh, not a super easy build, but, you know, if you obey the uh, instructions and if you do what they, you know, how they say it, uh, they have videos that are really complete on YouTube that show all the uh, ways and, you know, tricks and stuff uh, to do it. Uh, let's take a look at this really quick here. Now, this, um, I bought the detail kit that comes with it. It has some details um, that you can finish the inside. Uh, it has uh, the wallpaper and paneling and uh, window treatments, uh, couch, TV, stuff like that um, that comes along with it. And then there's the uh, optional kit that you can turn it into the uh, Earl's uh, Redneck uh, trailer, which I'll show you that kit in a minute here. Now, um, I weathered this with uh, AK uh, rust streaks, and also I used some uh, weathering powders on it. And this is the first time I used the AK rust streaks, and I'm pretty impressed. You know, it, where if you do the if you do it according to instructions, I, I think the uh, results are pretty good on it. Let's take a look. This is the side that I that's going to be away from everybody, so I decided to work that one first as to try it. But I think it turned out all right. Um, the only thing uh, with the kit, now the kit, kit is, you know, it's detailed, and if you don't have any experience in building, I would say try some of the other kits first. Um, I would say, uh, you know, do, do some of the smaller kits, the phone booths, the pallets, uh, the pop machines that'll kind of get you in the uh, the right mindset if you haven't done this before. Now I've 
the um, the kit is made out of, I believe, basswood, and a um, also a kind of like a almost an MDF hardboard kind of material. Uh, it's very thin. Um, there, the pieces are fragile, but they're not like too fragile. You just have to um, work carefully with the stuff. Um, sanding and f filing, you know, they 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 have the the pegs and everything, so everything goes together pretty well. But you still need to do a, a bit of sanding and filing just to make sure the pieces uh, go together right. Uh, like I said, I've never worked much with uh, basswood. I'm a styrene guy. So this was a little different for me. The uh, only thing that uh, I really messed up was the roof. And uh, they have instructions to, to bend it over and form it on a piece of uh, pipe. And I did that, but it ended up warping. And once it warped, it just seemed it was really difficult to work with. And because it was kind of, you know, had that bend in it, I just like, you know what, I'm just going to make another roof. So I made it out of some really super thin styrene. And then uh, I took uh, painter's tape and ran it across, overlapped it slightly. Then I took uh, paint, uh, just basically the, uh, um, we call it the diamond coat or ceram coat, the Hobby Lobby paint basically. And I just painted it black with the Hobby Lobby paint. And then I went over it with a gray, uh, weathering powder. I think it turned out pretty pretty weathered. And the reason I didn't detail the interior of this is that um, I want to save the details for other stuff. Um, you'll see in a in a few minutes where this is going on the layout and it's you know it's almost four feet back so even if I had the uh, it fully detailed on the inside it, you'd be really hard-pressed to be able to see any of the detail pieces through the windows um, at that at that range. So um, I'm gonna keep all the detail pieces and use them on other things. So let's take a look at the instructions and uh, I'll go through the instruction booklet a little bit here. It's very detailed. You know, if you if you follow the if you read the instructions word for word, you do everything that the way they say to do it you're going to have a good result. I mean, that's, the instructions are that good, but, you know, you have, to, you have to be able to follow the instructions. You know, lining things up, you know, it's all in the build. It's all in how careful you did to build. And I was pretty careful, and I still managed to screw up a little bit. Um, I didn't get it quite fitted well enough, and you can kind of see that there's just a little bit of a gap there. But I'm not going to sweat it because the uh, you're not going to see it. It's it's going to be too far back in the diorama that you know if you see the gap and mention it, I'll uh, I'll applaud you for your sharp eyes. I really will. Um, but yeah, the instructions are excellent. Uh, they have all the part numbers on there, and then you can see that there's. One part number for the window, one part number for the trim. And then if you look over here, they have the complete layout with every number of every single part in the kit. And then uh, we'll take a look at like the detail kit part of it. And you can see that there's dressers. and Now this kit part is separate, okay? Uh, it, it, the detail pieces. Uh, you get some pieces with the trailer, um, but uh, you, uh, if you really want to do the interior, you, you should get the detail kit. Um, but you do have, you know, some detail without it, but not much. And that's what the the details you get, the air conditioner, which I found pretty handy. Uh, got a nice uh, grill. Um, I still got to put the tables together, the chairs, I got them painted. The uh, engine block is a bit oversized. Um, it's a bit out of scale. It's more O scale than S scale. 
I mean, you can even tell in the picture, that's a pretty big block. Maybe it's from a semi-truck, you know? <laughs> Eight-cylinder diesel, perhaps. I got mine sitting in a junkyard. I just painted it up and threw it in a junkyard. Um, got little bottles, which um, I still have to uh, paint. I still got to do the details, put these details together. I used the sink in my, uh, in my barber shop. Uh, the air conditioner, I, I'm using all over the place, actually. I made uh, copies of them. <laughs> Sorry, interaction. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I only, I'm only using them for myself, so. But this is what it looks like when it's finished with the detail kit in it. You can see there's a lot of details in here. The TV. Now, my TV I have in the uh, the TV shop right now. Um, so I, I didn't do any of the details. I just put the bracing in. But like I said, the instructions are, are excellent. Um, they give you all kinds of uh, graphics for uh, your windows. They even give you some flags. Um more and more graphics than you need, so it's nice. You can save them for next time. Uh, here's the interior um, stuff, the flooring and the paneling and the wallpaper, uh, which I didn't put in because I'm going to save it for other stuff. It'll come in handy. And uh, let's see here. What else we got about this? Um... It is an excellent kit. It really is. I highly recommend it. Um, but I do recommend that you uh, learn to build a little bit before you do it. Uh, I would recommend getting uh, maybe uh, some of the other other kits that they have as far as uh, like the soda machines or something like that. Because the principle is the same in building it. Um, you'll get familiar with the how they do the instructions. And, you know, if you're not a... a um, experienced builder but the thing is is they have the instructions are excellent if you follow the instructions to the letter you're going to have a good result you can always um, watch the youtube videos they got a couple excellent videos on uh, how to uh, assemble the tricks and stuff that they found and uh, so you should be able to be just fine um, even if you're not quite as skilled um, but you should at least, you know, have a little experience to make it better. Uh, but, you know, sometimes the only way to get experience is just to jump in and do it. And that's kind of my mantra, how I've done things before. So um, there it is. I uh, put a couple uh, LEDs in it. It comes with an LED strip uh, kit. Uh, unfortunately, mine did not. It was a little oversight, but that's okay. I got my own LEDs, so I put those in. Um, so, you know, you can light it up. It's an excellent kit. So uh, let's go uh, put it on the diorama, and um, we'll show you where it's going and everything, and go from there. All right. Well, there it is, sitting in the, uh, the junkyard. I'm going to put a little more light on this in a second here, and you can see what it looks like. There it is. There's my buddy Boxcar there, and his dogs. Pull back for the rest of the junkyard so you can kind of see where it's at. Notice how I said it, it's four feet back, and that's that's how wide this is. So it's all the way in the back. Yeah, I think, you know, a little bit of weeds around the base of it. Add some weeds to it to finish it off, I think. I'll weather that refrigerator up a bit and put it out there too and throw some more junky stuff around. But I think Boxcar will be much happier in the uh, trailer. 
than the uh, that trailer. Now, uh, they do make um, several uh, accessories besides the um, the Redneck Earl detail kit. Like I said before, they also make a meth lab, and the meth lab is made to fit inside the trailer. So if you want to have, you know, something a little darker and grittier on your uh, diorama, and uh, he always kind of fancied having a meth lab, uh, <laughs> I'm definitely going to get it myself. And um, they have another version of the trailer, um, a different uh, trailer, but they don't have it in S scale yet. So feel free to hit their uh, Facebook and uh, let them know that you want it in S scale, because I sure want one in S. Um, I'm going to buy more of these. Uh, I do have, later on, I do plan on making a, uh, a mobile home park, eventually. And uh, probably won't be for several years, but... I'm definitely going to use these kits. Um, they're excellent. Uh, they're under $40 for the kit. I think they're, I can't remember, $35 or something for the kit. And then there's going to be a little shipping involved. Uh, the detail kit, I think, is $37. Um, they often have sales. So, uh, especially around holiday times, they'll, you know, sometimes you can find they'll, uh, they'll set that up and give you 20% off or whatever. So keep an eye out for any sales. Uh, they do, I believe, have uh, email notifications that you can sign up for. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think Boxcar is happy. Now, Boxcar, uh, the character Boxcar in, in the junkyard here, is based on a, a dear friend of mine who uh, departed about five years ago, unfortunately. Uh, he was, unfortunately, he was a junkie. And uh, he took one last ride, and it didn't go good for him. But uh, he used to live in an old, decrepit house. In fact, I was his roommate for a while. I had to clean it up. He, he's a hoarder. He was a hoarder. So if I would uh, do this uh, to scale or to, to proper prototype, I guess I'd probably just fill the place with garbage. <laughs> but he was a good man. You know, one of my best, dearest brothers. And I do miss him. So that's his little uh, shrine to John. He always had German Shepherds. In fact, I still carry the scars on my leg. From one time, one bit me while John and I were partying one night. <laughs> so, but uh, check out uh, Interaction um, ho uh, Interaction Hobbies, uh, Rail and Tie Craftsman Kits. Um, excellent. Like I said before, they're excellent kits. Uh, feel free to buy anything that they make with confidence. They're a good company. It's a, it's literally a mom and pop company. It's it's a, a husband and wife team that do this. They're based out of Canada, and um, they're very nice people. So, um, you know, buy their stuff. Check it out, and also message them and harass them. <laughs> well, I actually harass them probably wouldn't be the proper term, but you know they 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 make a lot of cool stuff, and. Um, some of the stuff they make in HO and O scale, but they don't make an S scale. Um, they just came out with a cat lady um, diorama part, and it looks like it'll fit in the trailer just fine. And it's got like a lady with 17 cats, or, and it's amazing, and I really want one, but they don't make it an S scale, 164 scale, unfortunately. So, um, you know, if you're a fan of 164 and you, you like what these guys have to offer, um, you know, let them know. Write them messages. They're very active about answering stuff. Um, and, um, you know, I think if they get enough interest, they will definitely uh, work to put out more stuff in our scale. But it's up to us, you know, because for years and years, S scale um, wasn't popular. Uh, it's, you know, it was, it's probably one of the more expensive uh, railroad scales to uh, build in. The trains are prohibitively expensive, and it's a really expensive hobby, and there's not a lot, at least there wasn't a lot of factory support um, for accessories. So S-Scale, um, there's a saying in, among the uh, S-Scale train guys is S means scratch built, meaning you basically had to build everything from scratch. And, and my diorama is, is living proof of that because most, most of my buildings are scratch built. Um, a few kits, but most of it, most, most of it's scratch built. And because there's just not, even now with some of these new companies coming up and some companies expanding, um, 
there's still not that much available um, as far as really detailed kits. And this is one of the companies that's starting to take notice and starting to uh, respond and make stuff for our scale. So if you're into 164, it would uh, behoove you to, uh, to, to, you know, let these guys know. Um, you know, and, and guys like Pete from Pete's 3D, uh, great guy, very active and make, good at making stuff uh, in 164. Uh, encourage these guys, buy their stuff. That's probably about the best way you can encourage these companies is to purchase their products. Um, and I'm not being a shill for these guys. They've given me absolutely nothing. I, I haven't got anything free from them. I don't expect anything free. I, but you know what? When I see something that's a good product, I want you guys to know about it. Um, you know, that you can buy it with confidence. I already checked it out for you. You know, you can trust me on it. And, um, you know, try to, you know, I, I want this, this hobby to grow. I want more people to get involved in it. And um, so, anyways, enough rambling. Uh, thanks for all the support you guys are giving me. Uh, please uh, like and uh, share and subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, if you have subscribed, I do appreciate you guys. Um, and, uh, you know, we're just continuing to, you know, put videos out when I get stuff built. And, uh, you know, enjoy. So if you got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll put a uh, link to uh, Interaction Hobbies uh, website in the uh, description so you can find it, get it to it easily there. And like I said, check out their stuff. And, uh, you know, I'll be uh, featuring other manufacturers. Um, I have featured uh, stuff from Pete's 3D before, and I'll probably be doing more as I work on more of the stuff I get from them. And uh, so, anyways, that's about all I got, man. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time.